Now, in the back here, she had uh, a lot of different perennials, and this, this uh, dogwood was covering everything, shading it. So we're trying to train this dogwood to grow upward. So I really trimmed the heck out of it so it would grow upward. Um, and planted some new perennials, some existing perennials we moved around. Uh, these Shasta daisies used to be in this smaller island to the left over here. And I put them over here. And the reason why I moved them is because she has a large burning bush that she got from, uh, I believe, her daughter. And it's about the size of those two. And she wants to put that burning bush to the right over there. So we, if you come over here, you can see what we did this morning. We made this island a little bigger to, to, so it can have that burning bush. We just moved, we, it used to just go like, just close right there, but now we just made it an extra three and a half foot larger. And we'll come back tomorrow and we'll plant that burning bush. So now, now that little island is now getting bigger and bigger. And then um, the only thing left here is this, the little side of the house that we're going to be planting um, much. She wants to put some annuals in here. She wants to keep this kind of loose and open for her to do more creative things. Gets a lot of shade most of the day. So maybe next year she'll put something like impatience in here. She wants to plant flowers around here. And that's pretty much the house. All right, Jim, looks good. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.